The Pokey Little Puppy by Jeanette Sebring Lowry. Today we have a book named The Pokey Little Puppy by Jeanette Sebring Lowry. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, one after the other. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered. For he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a fuzzy caterpillar. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a quick green lizard. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, running round and round, his nose to the ground. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see, roly, poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble, tumble-bumble, till they came to the green grass, and there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. I smell something. Pet the pokey little puppy. Then the four little puppies began to sniff, and they smelled it too. Rice pudding, they said. And home they went as fast as they could go over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fen. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them, with rice pudding for dessert. For there more here was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who dig holes under fences? Shh, she said. No rice pudding tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone was sound asleep. He ate up the rice pudding and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign. The sign said, Don't ever dig holes under this fin. The five little puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same and went for a walk in the wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, two and two. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a big black spider. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a brown hop toad. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there was the pokey little puppy sitting still as a stone, with his head on one side and his ears cocked up. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see Roly, Poly, Pelly, Pell-Mell, Tumble-Bumble, till they came to the green grass, and there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. I hear something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies listened, and they could hear it, too. Chocolate custard. They cry. Someone is spooning it into our bowls. 
and home they went as fast as they could go, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them, with chocolate custard for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who will dig holes under fences. Yes, she said. No chocolate custard tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone else was sound asleep, and he ate up all the chocolate custard and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign. The sign said, Don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. But, but... In spite of that, the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.